Hi, this is Thomas with Believe in the Run. This is Robbie with Believe in the Run. Robbie, what do we got here today? Oh, this is the uh, Saucony Tempest. Not, Tempest? Not like the Tempest Shakespeare, but Tempest. Tempus. Tempus? Yeah. Okay, I'm down with it. Uh, so Robbie, this shoe is a stability trainer. It's new from Saucony, and it's kind of falling into that more modern stability that we're gonna see. I, you know you've heard of the Ride 15 and there's the Stability Side Guide. Yeah. This one is something that I think is a little more exciting. Yeah, I mean, we're kind of going away from the traditional stability, moving more towards like a mix between daily trainer neutral shoe and stability shoe, and this is it. And why is this exciting? I'll tell you why. We got some power on PB. Oh, yeah, God, where, I where? I just sound James more. Uh, we got some power on. <laughs> oh, you can't, we can't have that in the video. You really do have to edit that out. <laughs> no, that's cool. We love you, Seth. Uh, anyway, the Power Run PB, Robbie, we know that from what series of shoes? Uh, so the Endorphin line, the top tier of the Endorphin line, the Speed and the Pro, both have uh, Power Run PB midsoles. So It's that bouncy foam, mm -hmm. it's that fun foam, it's that light, energetic, high energy return foam yeah. that is probably what I would say is the premier foam in Saucony shoes right now. Yeah, I mean, it's super, it's super exciting. When we saw this at TRE, we were like, oh, this is kind of a big deal to have yeah. that inside of a stability shoe. So let's get into our first impressions because we've both taken a run in it. Yeah. And I have to say, I really liked it. And I'll, I, I want to hear what you think and then I'll go into why I liked it. I, I really, I liked it too. I think I did seven miles in it. Um, good, solid ride, wide, wide platform, a lot of room in the upper. Might be, this might be a wide person shoe without getting the wide version. Yeah. Uh, there's I, room. It's roomy. Yeah, I liked it. The lockdown was good. I mean, it wasn't like an amazing shoe to me, but I, it was a good ride. I actually would have liked it a little more narrow off the bat. Mm -hmm. I did have to like kind of struggle with the laces to get the right fit. Yeah, yeah. Once it was on though, it fit really well. I like the gusseted tongue. The tongue is nice. Everything fits and is comfortable. But what I really did like was the ride. That foam really does the job. And I like it actually, I'm not a big stability shoe guy, but I liked the way this one does stability. It kind of puts it at the same level as say, like the Infinity or yeah. the Kayano, the, uh, what, what am kind I thinking? Light. Kind of light. Yeah, and this is actually, speaking of light, this is, we didn't weigh it, but the spec sheet was like nine ounces. It feels a little heavier than that to me, but. The spec sheets are always a little yeah. light. But it's not ridiculous. Like, it feels like a normal like daily trainer. I actually think for the premium foam and everything, the price point seems really good too. Yeah, so price point on this is, watch out. I got you. Price point in, on this is 160, and it comes out June 28th, by the way, so that's coming up. And I think for stability people, they're gonna love this shoe. Uh, we got our stability guys running in it right now, so we'll have them on the review as well and maybe even the video review because we'll be in town next week. Yeah, and it does have that really stable wide platform. Oh shit, sorry, <laughs> I, I did not, I thought you had it. Okay. I thought you had it, good save. <laughs> so it has a wide platform on the bottom for stability. The J, I, I want to call it J-frame because it's similar to what Hoka does with the way it wraps around the foot and has the posting on the medial side. It really gives a nice stable ride, but it doesn't feel overly corrective and it feels like something that you can like even as a, someone who prefers neutral shoes, I really like the ride of this shoe. So yeah, I agree. I think this is. I think people are gonna like this a lot. Uh, stability people who are looking for stuff that's a little more normal. And yeah, anything else? I gotta say that I, one last thing. Okay. I like the Power Run PB without a plate. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, there was one other shoe that did that. Why am I blanking now? The Hurricane, maybe. I think. Yeah, the Hurricane. The Hurricane. What about the Freedom? The Freedom didn't have. Freedom didn't. I think. Wait, did this version? I yeah, I think it does have power there's on PB, too much, but there's too much. it didn't have as nice right, shape. So that's too, too much for you. Anyways, that's we're getting way off target. All right. That's our first impressions of the Tempest. Speaking of target, should I go long? Oh yeah, yeah, go long, Robbie. Cherry, right. throw the shit. 